the problem is, and this is something that Richard Reeves is actually talking about, right? The problem is the society has been so insufferable to men. They're trying to tamp boys down so much that boys are actually rebelling. So, and the women have been, the girls have been trained to be insufferable toward men, I almost have a hatred toward men. You're basically going, you're basically actually applying for a job that you have to pay for. Okay. That's, that's the problem where right now that's come guys are, don't want to be around women anymore because it's not fun. If you don't enjoy something, you're not going to be around it. If you've been paying attention, you've seen this list floating around the space and a lot of conversation along with it. One, do not get married. Two, avoid family creation. Vasectomy in your 20s. Four, lift consistently. Five, eliminate all sedations. Five, six, learn game and networking. Play to your strength, build wealth. Resist easing up on your focus. So these are the quickest way to become a high value man. And a lot of discussion has resulted out of it. But what I wanna do in this video is I'm gonna let the five takeaways that I got from this conversation be done for me by five creators. Number one, men are responding to a broken dating environment. You see, Richard Reeves, Richard Reeves cannot understand what's going on with boys and men at the level of big time. At the level of men going their own way. At the level of men counting the cause. At the level of men making a cost and benefit analysis. This system devalues me. In its devaluation of me, this system refuses to offer any good rewards for me to continue to participate in the system or to add to the system. And because the system devalues me and does not want to reward me and reward my labor, what I'm going to do is completely boycott the system and not participate at all. In this clip, Dr. Ron O'Neill is talking about the lack of incentive for young guys to participate in the system traditionally. And you can see in the Fresh and Fit conversation, look at the contrast in the people that are involved. You have Destiny, who's trying to do a non-traditional role in a way to be more appeasing, if you will, to his significant other by saying that he's available to let her be with other people while being in a committed relationship. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have Fresh and Fit, who are trying to be young bachelors in a an environment where it's very difficult to lock down a traditional relationship. And then in the middle, you have Sneeko who's asking the question, what if instead of me trying to be the quote unquote high value man, why can't I find a way to have a family and not have to do the things like get a vasectomy and avoid marriage and avoid family creation? How can I do it? And all of these different viewpoints are just a clear barometer of the fact that the dating environment and the environment for young men to try and create families has gotten very difficult. Two, don't think in absolutes. And I learned by fucking the shuck up and watching before jumping to a conclusion. And we black men love, uh, and I'm talking about black men in general, manosphere or not. We love to sit up and say, oh, yeah, I know this, that and the other one we don't know. And we love to talk in absolutes. If you observe, you will find out which phenomena have no exceptions and which ones don't. But we love to jump to conclusions before observing a uh, recurrence of a pattern and talk in absolutes before that observe uh, that observation. We can't free the minds of simps if we sit up here bickering and arguing over street values versus non-street values. If you were in here arguing to promote street values, you still are promoting some gynocentric BS and dysfunction. In this clip, Black Mind is talking about how people are making judgments about Kevin Samuels based on his mannerisms when you can't do that. You can't make absolute generalizations on a person or just ideas in general. That's my take on it. And so when you have the discourse where 
I know more than you, so you should be quiet and 100% listen to me, or I'm 100% right and you're 100% wrong. These are absolute ways of thinking and they limit conversation. And so if you look at, even in this fresh or fit example where one person is trying to have a new age marriage and other guys are trying to be bachelors and you have others that are kind of in between, there is no necessity and saying you have to be all of one thing or all of the other, instead raise the level of discourse by admitting that it's possible to have gray areas and discuss the gray areas in a manner that's gentlemanlike. Three, even if it's hard, keep working on your women's social skills. And that's the, pro that's the problem with monkhood. I always tell guys about monkhood, okay? Don't get in it, okay? People think it's harder to get into it than to get out of it. It's the opposite. That's that's that is the trick of monkhood. Okay, monkhood is called contentment. There's a reason for that, right? You don't know how much you put up with. You don't know how irritating that that another person is, especially a female. You know, opposite sex can be to you as a male until you stop dealing with one, right? Especially at at an advanced age. When you're young, your testosterone will push you past that, right? The juice is worth the squeeze. It'll push you past that irritation, right? If you look at number six and it says learn game and networking, what BJ Moore is talking about here is the need for young guys to find ways to work their social engagement muscles, if you will, with young ladies. Maybe you don't have the success romantically that you might want, but that ability to... I guess talk socially engage in conversation maybe even flirting in the proper situations is an important skill to work on because if you don't work on that skill you're going to lose it and so again the fresh and fit guys they have their different ways in terms of game or if you see uh, sneeko he's thinking about doing something that's more serious in terms of finding romantic relationship from one side to the other, you're still going to need the skill of being able to socially engage and interact with young ladies. Four, focus less on the high, more on the value man. The blue collar ballers. Now, one thing you have to understand about the community, they are highly influenced by media. And so real life everyday superheroes don't exist to them. Whereas in other communities throughout the world, everyone knows these are the men that keep the lights on. These are the men that you go to when you get in trouble and you need bail money. And he put up, he signed because he's the only property owner in the family. When nobody in your, in your family has been to college, he's the one that foots the bill for you to go and get an education. This is the guy who does it. When your car break down and you ain't got no way to go to work, he's the guy that comes through, tells you to go buy the parts, and he fixes it in the backyard because he's a you know he's also an expert mechanic. This is the guy that keeps Black America from falling into the abyss. Here, Pablo Frescobar is talking about how incredibly important blue collar workers are to communities, and he's talking about how in certain communities they are very appreciated and not as much as they should be in the black community but his point is if you're a man of value you are going to be missed when you leave the community so your focus should be on being a valuable man and not necessarily a high value man if you look at the list again the focus is on becoming high value instead of being valuable and so it's not to say it's right or wrong, but there is a need in all communities for men who are just plain and simply valuable. And so don't get too caught up in being high value, but instead just become a man who is very valuable to the place where he is. Let ideas mold your beliefs. The whole thing with the public square in court, uh, Patrice O'Neill used to say, Yep. I don't have, I don't have beliefs because a belief is something that's solid and can't change. He said, I got an idea. Mm. He said, my, he said, ideas, you can always adjust an idea. 
that, but, but, if, but if you make it a belief, it's something solid, something you got to stick with, and, and let's say that you, you outgrow the belief, then what? In this conversation I was having with Rogan's son, he made this really enlightening comment. He said, what do you do when your ideas outgrow your beliefs? And what he's saying here is that your beliefs should be changing or ever evolving based on the ideas and the information you acquire. And it's, it's a really deep idea. So you can't have a, a set of hard, fast principles because First of all, the world is malleable, but the way that we interpret the world is also malleable. And so again, you see the hard, fast facts to becoming a high value man. And instead of using those as rules, you could say it's better to have them as maybe guidelines. And as guidelines, you can look at them and say, these are things that I believe, or I think will get me to a place. But as you acquire more information, just understand that your beliefs, or in this case, this list, can also evolve with your ideas. So this, in a way, is a show of the fact that some of the conversations being had are very deep conversations that are evolving, and they're not hard, fast, do X, then do Y, and do Z, but instead, there's a wide range of ideas that are bouncing off of each other, and young men are asking older men and older men are bouncing ideas off of middle-aged men about how to move forward in this society that we've never seen before with these smartphones and with dating apps it's very interesting to listen to the varying ideas of content creators because again this is not a black or white absolute issue but instead this is just a public square of guys bouncing ideas off of each other and trying to get a better fix on the world that we're living in. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.